I'm gonna be completely honest and vulnerable um, up front with you guys, just real and like authentic in the way that I know I can be. Um, so I wanna get on here and talk to you guys about Shyla and what she's been saying um, and the lies that she's been spreading. And I find that like in life, there's like a way of handling things and then there's a way that you go about things and you obviously you get the consequences. And I feel like Shyla just going on the internet and just being super immature and saying things that aren't true and not coming to me personally if you have a problem with me you gotta come to me personally like that's like my my go-to like when i got a problem with someone i call them up that's kind of like my personality that's kind of my vibe that's how i do things and i called you shyla before when i had a problem with you two years ago uh when you made a video about my skincare line i called you that night um and i texted you and that's kind of like my vibe like that's how i do things so if you got a problem with me let's let's talk about it right um thinking about it and you know i'm not impulsive like she is i really just i really just like sit with my thoughts and really think about things and I analyze it and that's just kind of the personality that i am so when she had said all these like negative dark lies about my family i was thinking about it and i was like wow like i actually pray for this person like i do silent prayers all the time and i send her good vibes doing since I can remember and it's showing and she's she's like telling on herself like she's showing her true colors and it's like it's so obvious so to get straight to the point the other night Austin went to the gym like he always does he's in camp right now so he's training for a fight and he had a sparring so he invited the whole family um, his dad was there our son was there his friends um, I couldn't make it because I had something going on so I stayed home with the girls and if you see me if you could physically see me right now if you're watching this video you know that what i do for a living is content so i've been on youtube for a very long time and i make content and we film for a living and you know we've shared glimpses of our lives we don't as much anymore just because of that's kind of where we're at to be honest with you if i didn't have this many eyes on me i probably would be sharing a lot more but um yeah that's just kind of where we're at and so he was at the gym he was making content like he always does and he made this very innocent video of going towards our son and Shiloh's daughter Soline who's his niece Austin's niece and she was kind of in the background you couldn't really see her she's kind of like to the side and then he kind of focuses on our son and very cute like innocent video so Shiloh respectfully being the hawk that she is watching every single one of our stories and our videos and trying to find an opportunity to speak on our name and continuously disrespect us and slander and say these really hurtful and untruthful things she goes on the internet and starts to claim that my husband tried to kill somebody and uh, that I had IVF treatment for my third pregnancy which are all untrue things there's a couple more things that are just untrue I don't even remember what she said but I, I this is the time that it comes to an end and I'm going to share how I feel she claims that her daughter is being used for clout all right so let's discuss this um shyla i don't know if you know what clout is okay so there's a difference between clout and then family right so you got a family that's you know they're they're well known they have a lot of eyes on them and you know we started youtube we didn't know we were going to be as successful as we are we did it with pure intentions everything happened so naturally and so pure and so real i love I love what I do and you Shyla you jumped on the bandwagon and that's what you started to do and you did it for many years and all of a sudden when your relationship ended when Landon broke up with you you decided that because it wasn't in your favor anymore that you decide that you know your daughter is clout now which doesn't make any sense family is family and I'm sorry if like that's how you see it through your goggles like that it's being clout but it's just it, it is what it is like you're damned if you do damned if you don't if Celine is never a part of our family if she's not at our party and hanging out with our cousins and going to the beach with us and having a good time and growing up with us and learning and growing then you would say five years from now that oh they never loved her they never care nobody cares and the truth is is that we all love our family. every single person in our family we love them very much and that's one of the reasons why we're so successful is because we put family first and that's been the kind of people that we've been and transmitted for a long time and so for you to use that word it's very hurtful because 
very opposite of clout. You're, if anything, you're creating attention for clout. I understand that you know you're telling the world that you don't want your daughter on the internet anymore, um, that you've grown, that you know you don't like that, which I have complete respect for. I feel like that's a beautiful thing if that's what you decide you want to do. But you're also very contradicting. So let's just make that clear. So then you proceed and you say some lies and you say that I had IVF treatment for my third child to have a boy. And that's 1000% not true. I know if you believe in God, if you pray to God, but God, right? Like that's the reason why I have my children. I was able to conceive three children. I wanted them back to back. Where that came from i don't get the purpose of it I, like I, I just i can't grasp it like i'm sorry i just don't know but what i will say is i find it very disrespectful to women all around the world who literally cannot conceive a child on their own and they have to do treatments like ivf and i find that ivf is like what a blessing to be able to have such a thing and although i didn't go that route it's just very odd to me that you would say something like that like as if like what are you trying to offend me like that's like a bad thing i don't get what the purpose of that was and yeah just like another one of your lies like just to end this like ivf topic part i had just had my second child um i had i got pregnant a year after i had my second um i was breastfeeding non-stop changing diapers two children working non-stop working on my business working on my family my marriage my relationships my friendships raising a household like doing so much and yet i'm supposed to be doing ivf treatments just so that i could have a boy like it doesn't even make any sense like i don't know i don't know where your husband and then you proceed and you say that austin my husband has tried to kill somebody and that really pissed me off because that is so far from what austin is and how he would ever speak and react and you literally have no idea who my husband is you've never known us like that and you for you to just like say something so dark and evil is really scary and um just find that that was completely out of line and this is mainly the reason why i'm making this video is because you need to be stopped and you really do need to heal you need to stop pretending that you're healed and you really have to look inwards and i can tell you literally like i do not mind to help you through this but this has got to stop i'm gonna bring this one up but you you said you claim that our family is broke so that's like one of like the famous like narratives that the internet loves to talk about and to be honest with you i know that like your supporters like the people that are supporting you genuinely only have one thing in common with you and that's your lies oh actually two your lies and then that you don't like us literally those are the only things that your supporters have in common with you and that's the truth and your lies have gotten so deep it's so deep that you continuously you're like making this like monster and it's literally not who you are like i know that for a fact like that can't be who you are i get that money is your number one motivator it's all you talk about it's all you think about it's literally like it was all that your relationship was about i get it that you know towards the end that's all you cared about and i'm not even going to go into details because Really, like this is none of my business but the truth is is that if you don't understand what money truly is you will never make money because money is an energy exchange and it comes in like waves okay and that's what we are we are energy so it's what you do with money. it's how you get it it's how you react it's how you learn from it and it's so far away you, like you, the narrative is so far away from who we are and it's because we've given back so much and we do so much for people and we help people all all the time i help my family all and so I, I don't know it's just like the the thing about money is just weird like why are you even talking about that like why do you care about someone else's financial situation like who cares like i'm not talking about your financial situation i could care less. since i'm here and i'm sticking up for my family i'm the backbone of my family literally like i just found out yesterday that i have a collapsed disc and like so symbolic to like mean who i am and who i am to our family but god didn't give me a voice to be 
Johnson. And the truth is that, Shyla, you know that you've been carrying this lie about Landon being abusive, and you know that that's not true. And you gotta let that go. You have an amazing father to your daughter, and you need to start, like, accepting that this is your reality and that you created it because this is all done by you and accept that you know things didn't go how you wanted and that's it like i i don't know what else to say like you were so happy when landing got cancer you were the happiest you'd ever been everyone said it there's so many witnesses and that's the reason why he didn't want to be with you and because it messed with your money and what you were doing you got really upset and that's why you created this false narrative and one thing about me is that uh, I'm a girl's girl. So I support women. I advocate for women. I, I like, I help women on a daily basis. Like I'm all about women empowerment and that's my vibe. That's who I am. Right. But I also know that there can be a lot of darkness to women and some women take advantage of very innocent men and they use their power to get what they want. And I think that it's very unfair what you've been doing to stop i'm not saying landon's like a saint like he's the most perfect person in the world and he hasn't got not nothing to work on we all have something to work on even i do everybody does there's no perfect human perfection doesn't even exist the truth is is that you've really taken this out of line and it needs to stop sorry but your character has been shown for many years and it's very obvious what kind of person you are and for you to make a video and claim that you were abused and for the whole character to go out the window to be dismissed because you claim that you were being abused. meanwhile everybody knows that it's not true you could see it right you're literally taking advantage of very vulnerable women who have literally been abused you're diminishing a woman's abuse like you don't know what it's like to be in a kitchen like just doing and your husband walks in and slaps you across the face with a pan for no reason like you don't know how it feels to, to go through that and for you to say that you were abused is so wrong and it's not okay and I'm sorry but you push the line and it's time for this to be out and to be heard also um, you know you talk about my children you talk about my family you talk about my mother-in-law, like my mother-in-law, who's the most selfless, most kind, most helpful. She's also like a girl's girl, like she try to help you. Nicole is the type of person that if, God forbid, anything ever happened between Austin and I and our family broke up and, you know, life happens, right? I'm a realist. Life happens. She would be the first person to be there. And the fact that you had the audacity to say such hurtful lies about Nicole really hurts because it's like you never got the opportunity to really know who she is because of your darkness so stop talking about Nicole don't bring her up anymore um, so I'm done and I'm gonna say like this is the first the first and last time that I will ever speak about Shyla I've never done it not even subliminally like I really just I don't I don't do that when i got a problem with someone i call them up that's the kind of personality that i have and in this case it's very different i'm doing it on the internet and i really had no choice because at this point really think about it if someone spreading lies about you and your family on the internet and they were actually getting away with it like some people were actually believing what this person was saying would you stick up for yourself would you wait a couple years would you say something right away like what would you do in my in my position in my case I had no choice she took me out of my character but this is really just what it needs to be and I wish her well I wish that she finds happiness within I wish don't ever talk about my family ever again I've done way too much work to get where I'm at spiritually I'm talking about all the work the inner work that I've done I've done way too much work to get here and for me to go backwards is what I'm trying to do. I'm going to say one last time, stop talking about my family, my children, me, my husband. It's done. Stop talking about us.